Did you know you can split water to produce hydrogen gas using just electricity and a few simple items at home? All you need is a container, water with a pinch of baking soda, two stainless steel plates, wires, and a direct current battery. You can also use a balloon or small bottle to collect the gas. Connect the positive wire to one plate, which is the anode, and the negative wire to the other, which is the cathode. Submerge the plates about two to three centimeters in water, making sure they do not touch. It is safer if the wires are the same length to balance the electricity flow. Keep one to two centimeters between the plates. Too close can short circuit, too far, and gas production slows down. When electricity flows, electrolysis begins. At the cathode, which is the negative plate, hydrogen gas forms. At the anode, which is the positive plate, oxygen gas forms. You can see more bubbles at the hydrogen side. Baking soda or salt is an electrolyte. It helps electricity flow through the water. But baking soda is safer because it does not produce toxic chlorine gas. Salt can release chlorine gas, so only use it outdoors with ventilation. Attach a small tube to the negative electrode, the cathode. Then put a balloon on the tube's open end. Hydrogen bubbles will rise and fill the balloon. Make sure the balloon is secure but not airtight, and keep it away from flames or sparks. Collect only a small amount at a time. You can also use water displacement to safely collect hydrogen. Remember, hydrogen is flammable. Always work in an open, ventilated area and avoid sparks or flames. Wear safety goggles or a face shield and gloves. Hydrogen is odorless and colorless, so you cannot tell if it is building up in the air. Small do-it-yourself bubbles are safe, but they can burn if near a spark. Safety first. This experiment is also done in chemistry and physics labs at school, small scale, supervised, with a teacher guiding the process. You learn about hydrogen and oxygen production, gas properties, and basic circuits. At home, you can do a mini version safely using baking soda, low voltage, and open areas, like having a mini lab in your living room. Cool, right? Just water, and now you have hydrogen and oxygen. Want to learn how to turn this into a mini fuel cell or energy source? Comment, next part, and do not forget to subscribe for the next science build. Credits. Script by Gaius.